Hey everybody, welcome to Wrestling With Reality, Episode 5. I'm Johnny Cashmere. Gotta tell you, I've been having a blast doing these. Thank you for all of your kind feedback and comments. Uh, the Mandela Effect videos have just been, been blowing up. I can't thank you enough uh, for watching them. Don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon so that you are notified of future videos. I'm trying to make one video a day at least till the end of 2018 to build my content. Uh, so here we are. We're going to do another Mandela video. Uh, this one's going to be uh, some miscellaneous to start, and then we're going to get back into the uh, color fetish that I have found the Mandela Effect has. So we already did a video on colors. I found a bunch more, and some of these are going to blow your mind. So strap in, because here we go. All right. So first, we're going to start off with the Peltagen tree. Look at this. A tree where inside is purple. All right, and this isn't even part of the uh, color fetish. It should be. I should have made this part of the color fetish, but it's not. So this is a tree where when you cut it, the cross section has color inside of it. Look, look at this. Never seen or heard of anything like that. I mean, can you even imagine? Like, what is that all about? I mean, that's like there's a tree now that bleeds when you cut into it. You know, there's trees now that produce water. Not kidding. There really are. So next we have vampire parrots. Look at this. This is a parrot eating, like, the intestines or something of a sheep. So this is a carnivorous parrot. I don't ever remember hearing of carnivorous parrots, do you? I mean, look at it. I mean, I know they have strong beaks, but uh, I don't know. I didn't think they ate stuff like that. So it's called the Vampire Rainbow Snow Parrot. So rainbow, more with the uh, color fetish. So next we're going to go, did you know that we have always had hot water beaches? Hey, I always say, if it's odd and you never heard of it, chances are it's in Australia, New Zealand, Madagascar, or the Galapagos Islands. Well, look, New Zealand, hot water beaches. I mean, they have some natural springs that are actually boiling, okay? But these are just called hot water beaches, so I guess it's like going to like a spa, but come on. How, how's the water warm like that? People buy heaters for their pool to get warm water. I mean, come on. All right, how about this? Speaking of warm, how about the fire whirl? Look at this. This is a natural phenomenon. Look, they're all over the place. Looks like it's coming out of the truck, but it's not. The fire whirl. Now, my guess is there's probably some sort of methane gas or some flammable gas that is uh, spinning in this funnel and it's been lit. Uh, whatever. But I've never seen or heard of this in my entire life. So now it's a thing. So if you know any firefighters, ask them if there's such thing as a fire whirl. I'd be interested to hear what they say. All right, how about this? Lip plants. Yes, you heard me right. Lip plant. Look, look. <laughs> they call it Mick Jagger. Look at this thing. I mean, come on. And that's what it really looks like. They really look like lips. Oh, my goodness. Whoa, we won't even say what this one looks like. Oh, anyway. Whew. But anyway, can you imagine? Can you imagine that these things exist? Lip plants. And there's the red fetish, by the way. All right, how about the largest known flower? What is the largest flower known in the world? You'd think we would know that, right? Well, it's the corpse flower. Look at the size of this thing. Look at the person. The person is lifting the camera over his head to get a picture of this. Look at it. It's like a little shop of horrors. Look at the size of these things. Corpse flowers. And of course, they're in Chicago, in the botanical gardens, along with tons of other weird things, like the hummingbird hawk moth. Whew, weird. All right, more flowers. How about the skull flower? We have lips, now we have skulls. Look at this. Look at these things. I've never seen or heard of these before in my life. Skull flowers, weird, 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 weird. All right, 
Now this one, <laughs> this is probably my favorite one on here. Well, one of them. So what's the defense mechanism of a skunk? I know you're thinking, oh, he sprays you with that horrible odor. Right. Well, nature loved the skunk so much that it gave it two. That's right. Two defense mechanisms. Not only does it spray you, it does handstands. <laughs> what? I guess it figures when it's up like that, you think it's a bigger animal and it puffs out its tail. And so skunks do handstands. Are you kidding me? So I know what you're thinking. Got to see a video of this. So I got you hooked up here. You ready for this? Ready? And handstand. <laughs> Look, it's like Teddy Hart in the locker rooms. Unbelievable. You want to see it again? Why not, right? Let's see. Hey, oh, I'm starting to feel threatened. Don't threaten me or else I will. Oh, there it is. I've done it. Oh, now you're in for it. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Skunks do handstands, people. Ridiculous. All right. Now, I have a fear of not bugs. Not afraid of bugs, not afraid of spiders. I'm afraid of big, ridiculous bugs. Any kind of mantis freaks me the hell out. Leaf bugs, stick bugs, spider crickets, anything huge is disgusting to me. Well, if this thing was around, I would have known because, like, for example, I don't even turn on my porch light in October or September because... It attracts bugs, and then the praying mantis sits there with his arms open trying to catch the bugs, and then when I want to go out the house in the morning, there's praying mantis on my door. But check this thing out now that exists. The gargantuan stick insect. Look at the size of this. And it looks just like a stick. And this idiot is holding it. Look. Look at this. Like, when I was up at the cabin with Brianna, my friend Brianna, in August... We went around foraging for sticks for the fire, for kindling. And I picked up probably four or five dozen sticks that looked just like this. Could you imagine picking one up and having it move? I I would not be okay with that. Look at this thing. Look at it. I mean, that thing's got to be what? One, two and a half, almost three feet long? Of course, it's in Australia. <laughs> Ridiculous. All right, how about the frogfish? Look at this thing. Nemo, eat your heart out. Look at this. This thing has always been around. Look. He looks grumpy too, doesn't he? Why are you shining that camera on me? Look at him. Look. Wow, that is weird. All right. Very, very weird, in my opinion. All right, so now we're going to go. Have you ever knew? Have you ever known that square clouds exist? That's right, square clouds. This is even weirder than the cloud shadows and the split screen sunset. We are talking clouds in the shape of squares, right angles, straight lines, made by clouds. Look, it looks like a magic carpet. Look at this thing. Hey, carpet, been a long time. Give me some tassel. I mean, for real? These things really exist? Are you kidding? Square clouds? I mean, I could... Oh, these things deserve a video on their own. Just the square clouds. That's how crazy they are. All right, speaking of clouds, there's now a building in Australia that people can live in where the penthouse and the top floors are above the clouds. This is is not a Cloud City Star Wars image. This is not photoshopped. This is a real place in Australia that was built that you can live in. You can live in one of these floors up here, and when you look out of, the, of your uh, window or go out on your balcony, you're above the clouds. Now, please. That is amazing. I don't ever remember such a thing. I don't even remember that sort of thing being possible. Okay, I, I really, I really don't remember it being possible, but whatever. So, all right, how about this? Finger limes. <laughs> what? 
Did you ever hear of a finger lime? And look at all the colors they come in. Aren't limes just supposed to be green? And what's this weird shit in there? It looks like roe. It looks like salmon roe, like fish eggs inside of this weird lime. And it's called a finger lime. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Look at it. I mean, you telling me these things wouldn't go great on a uh, platter of sushi and sashimi? All right, how about kiwi berries? Look at this. These are little itty bitty kiwis, but they're berries. Look, there's no fuzz on it or anything, but the inside looks just like a kiwi. Now these things have been always, always been around. Kiwi berries, please. I have never, here, look at the difference. Here's a kiwi. Here's a kiwi berry. They're little, but look the same. And the outside's not brown, it's just green. Come on, these things would be in fruit salads everywhere. Move over grape tomato, we got kiwi berries now. Please. All right, how about all the different colors of strawberries now? These are all real, by the way, look. Yellow, purple, blue, black, bright blue, white, green, orange. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mandela Effects Color Fetish. Right here. I mean, come on. Color Fetish are us. All right. So how about purple tomatoes? <laughs> Why not, right? Purple tomatoes. Sure. Always been around. Yep. Again, we would see them in some of these weird artisanal salads, right? you go to one of these restaurants and it would be a oh, crumbled feta cheese along with purple tomato and, you know, uh, artichoke hearts served with, you know, I mean, come on. All right. How about purple carrots? Yay. Crowd goes wild. Purple carrots. Weird. They look like turnips, but they're not. They're carrots and they're purple and weird. All right, let's see what else we have. Purple corn. Why not? Everything else is purple in this Mandela fetished universe. Look at this. I mean, they almost look like uh, pomegranates. Purple corn, everybody. God, what's next? Red corn? Oh, I spoke too soon. <laughs> Red corn. Radic. At least there's no black corn. Whoops black corn what black corn for real for real for real for real all right well then there might as well be black bell peppers too right <laughs> no that one i just made up there's no black bell peppers <gasps> gotcha yes there are these are not mini eggplants these are black bell peppers since when i mean i've heard of you know grilling them and roasting them until they turn black and of course purple black purple bell peppers as well so we have purple and black bell peppers now these have always been around i think not how about black chickens whoa ho ho and what's a black chicken lay a black egg yeah black egg Black egg, whoa, black egg, black egg, black egg. All right, so there are black chicken eggs. How about blue chicken eggs? You think there's such a thing? Oh, yep. We's got the blue chicken eggs now, too. They look like, uh, what are they, robin eggs? But no, they are chicken eggs, okay? Look at all these different colored eggs. Unreal. Artisanal. The Mandela effect has an artisanal color fetish. Back to black. Black pumpkins. Why not the Japanese black pumpkin? Why not? If you're going to have black everything else, why not have a black pumpkin, right? Mayhap as well. And if you have something black, you might as well have it be blue. The blue pumpkin, not painted. It's a blue pumpkin, people. 
All right, how about blue scorpions? Keep up the blue fetish. Mandela effects blue fetish, and it looks like they glow in the dark a little bit, too. Unreal. Unreal. Blue scorpions. Sounds like a band. Oh, man, I'm going to see the blue scorpions this weekend at the electric factory. You should come with me, man. If they suck, we'll just throw black eggs and purple tomatoes at the stage and how about rainbow turkey what do you think of this rainbow turkey just to put an icing on the cap of the color fetish and now our very final mandela effect i saved this one for last it might even be better than the hand standing skunk ladies and gentlemen pigeons lactate <laughs> what? Do pigeons produce milk? The pigeon is one of only three bird species, the other being flamingos and male emperor penguins. Let me repeat that. Male. M-A-L-E. Male emperor penguins. Known to produce milk to feed their young. In pigeons, the milk starts to be produced in the crop of the parent birds two days before the eggs hatch. Squabs. Baby birds, funny word, squabs, are fed the milk until they're around 10 days old. Pigeons lactate, ladies and gentlemen. So when you're walking down the streets of New York City and a white milky substance falls on you as a bird goes by, might not be good luck. You may not have been shat upon. You may have been milked upon. Yes. So let me know what you think in the comments section below, everybody, and... Uh, I hope everyone has a great day. Many more videos to come. I am out of here. God bless.